What's up, everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here, bringing another Strike Force video today. Today, we're we'll going to be talking to all my fellow alliance leaders out there, giving my five favorite tips to successfully run your alliance and enjoy the game, but also get the best out of the crew you're running with in your alliance. So, let's get down to talking about these tips. Roll it. So you might be asking yourself, Norn Red, what gives you the right to tell me how to run an alliance or what should I, why should I listen to you? Well, for one, I've been playing this game for over two years now. I've been an alliance leader the entire time when I started my alliance. So I've made every mistake under the sun so you don't have to. So I'm going to tell you my tips and the best ways that I know to run an alliance and also just to chill and enjoy the game as well. That way it doesn't put so much pressure on you and everything. So let's get down to talking about this. So we got five tips to talk about. These aren't any particular order or anything. These are just my favorite ones that I think help me the best and everything. So number one is definitely going to be do your homework. Do your research on the game. Find out exactly what are the best things to do, what works for the game, the best way to tackle certain events and all those kind of things. Like I said, just if you're really into running an alliance, you really have to do your homework. Be invested in learning because information is power and the more information you have, the more knowledge you're going to have and be able to help out the others and when you recruit new people you'll be able to coach them along the way and hopefully they'll end up being and having being better and having better rosters than even you because you're teaching them the right ways and telling them what not to do wrong so that's one of my favorite tips another one is get yourself some solid alliance captains to surround yourself with guys that are going to help you with certain things like raid launch times strike team lane assignments i like having a captain for each strike team that definitely helps out because they can do lane assignments they can really learn about they're in that strike team so they could really learn about all the other players what lanes aren't working for players and adjust things as needed that way you don't have to worry about it also it's good to have captains for war as well because when you're doing war just in case sometimes you know real life can get in the way and you're not always there every moment to give the orders or tell people what to do or mark the target so it's good to have someone else a couple other people just in case that way they're on at different times of the day or night and they can mark the targets and let the other alliance members know that way you're not wasting any attacks in war Another awesome tip is Discord. I love Discord, and this is definitely a great app that I use for gaming and everything. It helps me communicate. It's a better way, in my opinion, to just communicate better than using the end game, the in-game chats and everything. You can only say so much and do so much with those. So being able to use Discord, having different channels for different things like strategies on raids, war defense teams, war offense teams, you know, bragging ground areas. That way you can share your awesome pulls and orbs and everything like that. So it's just a fun place to really have your game, the, your alliance members connect with each other. That way you guys aren't just kind of strangers on a screen just reading, you know, text. You actually kind of get to know each other and everything. So that's cool. I love Discord and I can't believe I gamed for years without it. And tip number four is definitely going to be enjoy that downtime. Don't push yourself too hard. There's going to be times when you feel very stressed out or you're feeling like you just don't want to play this game, be it because the devs aren't listening to you and the game's not going your way, you're getting horrible pulls or just very bad things have been happening recently, you know, in your alliance or something like that. Like, so sometimes you just have to take a break and learn to relax. Like, you know, take a few days off where you're able to, you get back on the game, you check up on things, do your dailies, but don't push yourself to have to grind every day to just be on top of every moment of everything on Discord, everything on the game. Sometimes that can be a little taxing on somebody, especially because you got your real life going on. You got jobs or kids or family or a girlfriend, boyfriend, so those things you definitely want to focus on and learn to use that to be able to just enjoy your downtime that way you're not so stressed out about the game because in the, in the end this is still just a game and you want to be able to enjoy it you don't want it to feel like a job or like a necessity kind of thing that you have to do and number five, my last tip is going to be toxic relationships with players. So for players, sometimes you can get like, I don't mean toxic and like bullying can be toxic. That's very bad. Don't accept that in your alliance at all. But another thing I can say is like people that kind of create a wedge between other players, people that are just, you know, out there 
just saying things and creating like certain vibes in the alliance you really don't want that and everything so you could either approach them in a direct message and ask them what's going on tell them to chill or it's just might be time to part ways and find a new recruit and everything so definitely that's something you want to pay attention to as an alliance leader you really want everybody in your alliance to be as happy as possible and when stuff isn't going that well or going great for them you want to be able to find them a place where they could have the right home find the right alliance or improve things in your alliance that way everybody else is happy in the end so those are my favorite tips for being an alliance leader as i said you know definitely hit me up in the comments section let me know if i forgot anything or share your tips if you're an alliance leader or ask me any questions like i said i'm also a leader for a star wars galaxy of heroes guild so i got a bunch of knowledge as i said i've made tons of mistakes over the years that way you don't have to so hit me up on discord or in the comment section and everything don't forget to hit that icon too in the bottom right that way you can be a subscriber and stay up to date on all the content that i put out guys have a safe and happy day peace out